The four-wheel market is full of various brands, ranging from conventional vehicles to artistic and luxurious models. Each brand strives to capture drivers' attention with new and original solutions. Among the renowned car manufacturers is Geely. Let's take a closer look at the brand's history. The founder of Geely Holding Group is Li Shufu, who was born in 1963 in the city of Taizhou, Zhejiang Province, now part of the Luqiao region in Taizhou City. In just 16 years, he embarked on an impressive journey from a photographer to an automobile manufacturer. Li Shufu was born into a farming family. For a while, he helped his father, but then he ventured into the city to try his luck. In 1986, at the age of 23, Li founded a company that produced components for refrigeration equipment. Three years later, he expanded his business and started producing decorative materials and objects made from magnolia wood. The business was highly successful, and Shufu eventually transitioned to the automotive industry. 1992 was a pivotal year for Geely on its path to becoming an automobile manufacturer. In that year, an agreement was signed with the Japanese company Honda Motors. Production workshops began manufacturing components for motorcycle transportation, as well as a few two-wheel models of the Japanese brand. Just two years later, Geely Scooter took the lead in the Chinese market. This provided a solid foundation for the development of customized motorcycle models. Five years after starting cooperation with Honda, this brand already had its own website, with a thriving circulation of motorcycles and scooters. Starting from that year, the company's owner decided to develop their own engine, which was equipped in their scooters. Simultaneously, the idea of entering the automotive industry was born. To make sure that car enthusiasts could distinguish a car from any brand, each company develops its own logo. Initially, the Geely emblem had the shape of a circle, inside of which was a white drawing on a blue background. Some drivers saw it as a bird's wing, while others believed that the brand's logo resembled a snow cap on top of a blue sky. In 2007, the company held a competition to create an updated logo. Designers chose the option with red and deep black rectangles enclosed in a golden frame. This emblem resembles precious stones cut in gold. Not too long ago, this logo underwent a slight modification. The colors of the stones were changed. They are now blue and gray. The previous emblem was only displayed on luxury cars and SUVs. To this day, all modern Geely models feature the updated blue-gray emblem. The motorcycle brand launched its first car in 1998. The model was based on the Daihatsu Charade platform. The Houching SRV hatchback came with two engine options, a three-cylinder internal combustion engine with a displacement of 993 cubic centimeters, as well as a four-cylinder counterpart with a total displacement of 1,342 cubic centimeters. The power of the units was 52 and 86 horsepower, respectively. From 2000, the brand introduced another model, the MR, customers were offered two body options, a sedan or a hatchback. The car was initially named Mary. Five years later, the model received an update with a 1.5-liter engine installed under the car's hood. In the following year 2001, the brand began manufacturing licensed cars as a registered private car manufacturer. Thanks to this development, Geely became a leader among Chinese automotive brands. On March 28, 2010, Geely Auto and Ford Motor Company signed an agreement to purchase 100% of the shares of the Swedish car company Volvo Cars. On August 2, 2010, Geely Auto completed the acquisition process of Volvo Cars, becoming the first global car company from China. A particularly significant and eventful year for the company was 2018 when the president of Geely Holding Group acquired 9.69% of the shares of the German automotive manufacturer Daimler AG, becoming its principal shareholder. In October 2018, the creation of a joint venture with Daimler Mobility Services in China was announced. In March 2019, Geely Holding Group and Daimler formed a global joint venture called Smart Automobile Company. LTD, focused on manufacturing premium electric vehicles under the smart brand and hybrid vehicles under the premium brand. 
the ownership stake in this venture is split 50 to 50. Thus, Li Shufu has created one of the largest automotive empires in the world and has become one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet. For many years, the Geely brand has adhered to the same principles, by pushing the boundaries of technological capabilities, it seeks to achieve technological innovations in the field of car manufacturing, creating high-quality and safe vehicles, and aspiring to become one of the most significant car manufacturers globally. The strong spirit of the Geely brand is expressed through its commitment to innovation and continuous improvement of its products, with a focus on safety, quality, and technology while caring for the environment. In designing its cars, the company looks to global industry trends but also retains its national characteristics. Today, Chinese cars are popular due to their relatively low price, compared to similar cars from other brands like Ford, Toyota, etc., and abundant features. The company's growth is attributed not only to increased sales by entering the CIS market but also to the acquisition of smaller enterprises. Geely already has 15 automobile factories and 8 factories for the production of gearboxes and engines. The production units are located worldwide. In conclusion, Geely's remarkable journey from its humble beginnings in China to its global expansion is a testament to the brand's dedication to innovation, quality, and affordability. As Geely continues to make strides in the automotive industry, it demonstrates that a commitment to excellence knows no borders. With its eye on the future, Geely is poised to continue its journey of taking the world by storm, leaving an indelible mark on the automotive landscape for years to come. That's it for today. But what do you think about Chinese cars? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.